I want to make sure I can remember how to add JUnit um, tests to my project so I can make sure I can have that. I'm going to go ahead and delete my existing uh, project uh, test right here and so I can bring them right back in. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them out of Eclipse inside the package chat.test and go ahead and say OK. So now my chat tests are gone. I want to go ahead and add those tests back in. And so to do so, all I need to do is I need to click on that source fo uh, folder right here inside my project. I right click on it. I'm going to go ahead and go down to my build path and I want to configure my build path. The first thing I want to make sure is that I have my JUnit 5 library added. If it's not there, I just click on the Add Library and choose JUnit Next. And then I choose JUnit 5 from that list and hit Finish. But I've already got that in there, so I'm okay. The next thing I do is after I add JUnit, I want to go ahead and add the, pro, um, the actual test to it. So again, I right click on the Source folder. I'm going to go down, in this case, to Import. And I want to choose to an Archive File and then Next. And I'm going to browse wherever I save that archive file. And as you can see right there, I'm going to go ahead and grab that updated test zip. I want to make sure that I have the entire thing. It's going to go chat test. And if I click on that, there's the tests that are going in there. I also want to make sure I'm importing into the folder, the source folder, because that's where it's actually going to be part of that. I choose finish. Boom. It adds that new package right there. I have some errors on here because I've written all the code for that, but that's okay. As you can see, each of these errors that uh, means, oh, that check word method does not exist. So that's a good clue that I need to have a check word method that takes two strings inside of my chatbot class. And so as I add that method, I can write the code to make it that will pass that test and then figure out what I need to do to make sure that works properly. And so that's what we're starting off with right here is just how we can add the projects. Again, check out my other videos so you can look at how you can do some problem solving or using that to actually solve the problems inside your code and how you can use that to address problems. That's it. Have a great day. Cheers.